He's right behind you. We will open up the question at least. There we are. or we were about to do an example the last time. Okay, can you write this one down? This is where we finish and we'll uh, do this one. I'm going to do this one, I'll just write the question down. Um, was Mir behind you guys? Or? Adnan's coming. And who, we have seen Mir today? No. This isn't your first class, right? Yeah. Okay. What was your first class? Your chemistry? I can do more. And then? Okay. Okay. How many alpha and beta particles are emitted when this decays into that? You wrote it down? Yep. Okay. You got sorry, have you got that in yours? Yeah, okay. So we start off with U two, three, five and what is it, ninety two or something? It releases an alpha and it releases a beta. But actually and it becomes sorry, P O um two PB or PO? PB, alright, so it becomes lead then. 207 and then uh, 82. Plus some alpha particles, but we don't know how many alpha particles were released. Plus some beta particles, and we don't know how many beta particles were released. So instead, let's say there were X alpha particles plus y beta particles. Yeah? Uh, huh? Oh yeah, x alpha particles plus y beta particles. Um, so we don't know how many alpha there are and we don't know how many beta there are, we're saying x and y of each. We do know the numbers here at the top must be conserved, so if we had 235 at the beginning, then we should have 235 at the end. Here we have 207, and then how many nucleons do we have here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the top number. Oh, okay. Is it four? Actually, four x because we don't know how many of them we have, and how many here? 
zero y. There's no protons or neutrons here. So this can easily give us the uh, x because we can just subtract uh, 2, 3, 5, minus 2, 0, 7, right? Uh, that's 8, isn't it? 28 equals 4x, so then x equals 7. So there's 7 alpha particles. Likewise, the number of um, protons stays the same. So, uh, or, well, rather, the lower number is the same. So 92 should equal 82 plus 2x minus y. Uh, we're balancing the equation, something that you probably have done in chemistry, right? Maybe not quite like this, but the, the concept is the same. So we have 10 equals uh, 14 minus y, so y equals 4. So what's happened here is your uranium-235 released uh, 7 alpha particles and 4 beta particles. That's what's happened here. And we can find that by balancing this equation by saying the top equals the top and the bottom equals the bottom. Just remembering that if there's an x here, it means you have x of them. Y here means you have y of them. So uh, these numbers get multiplied by x and these numbers get multiplied by y. Questions? Okay. So write this one down. This would be an exam style question. I know that looks like a mine affair, that's a bit weird, let me just clean this. Okay. Do you have that? Yeah. Mm. Not yet? Okay. Started, I'll do part A and then we'll take turns. So part A we have to balance this equation. So in part 1A here we have 23892 uranium plus a neutron becomes. So what's happened in this question is you have some uranium and you have a little neutron and you fire the neutron at the uranium and the uranium will become something different plus uh, gamma radiation so I have to fill in the blank here well nothing special really happens here uh, we'll have 2, 3, 9 and 92 when we add these together since it's still 92 protons it's still actually uranium if I fired a proton instead, it would be 239, but this would become 93 then. So all I've done is add the top two together to make that. 
and the bottom two together to make that. And this is still uranium because it's still 92. So nothing difficult here, you're just adding numbers together. Um, what's interesting though for you is that when the neutron hits the uranium and becomes uranium-239 instead of uranium-238, uh, there's a release of gamma radiation in the process. Okay. Uh, right, so that's the first one. So you can see these questions here. Number one, very quick to do. Uh, gets a bit harder for two and three, but I think they take about half a minute. So one, two, three, four, five, six. should only take you about three minutes to do these. That's literally all you have to do. Now, uh, you will need your periodic table for this one, and this one, and this one, because the number of protons is changing, and you need to look up what it becomes. Uh, you can use your phone to Google it if you don't have your periodic table. Okay. All right, I'll give you a couple of minutes to do question one, and then once one is finished, I'll go through the answers. Yeah. You've made it to the question where you have to look up the... Yeah, good.
which pattern you want to have. Gee, great, okay. Once you finish G, I'll do it, yep. You got G now, yes? G? G? Which one are you on this week? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Let's have a look then. Okay, so we did A, so now I want to B. So here we have 63, 29, copper, plus one zero neutron becomes something plus two neutrons. So whatever is here, uh, it must add up to 64. And because there's a two already here, this must be 62. Uh, and this must be 29, which still makes it copper. But we should have this. C. We have... 2713 aluminium plus a neutron becomes something plus two um, no plus uh, alpha so if the total here is 28 and this is 4 then this one has to be 24 uh, that's a 2 and it needs to add up to 13 so it has to be 11 here and you need to look up what is sodium that's S, uh, NA yeah, of course sorry NA and A D uh, I think this is krypton isn't it or no krypton is K or uh, Cro oh, I don't remember 5324 C or 
plus an alpha becomes something plus a hydrogen. Well, the total here is 57 and the 1, so what must be here is 56. And the total here is 26 and there's a 1 here, so this must be 25. So what comes after C or if you have it there? Uh, 55. Uh, 25. Magnesium. Mm. Mm. This one, yeah? Okay. Uh, e. Uh, it back to aluminium. 2713 aluminium plus a neutron becomes something with the hydrogen. Well, the total is 28, and you have one here, so it has to be 27. And the total here is 13, and you have one here, so it has to be a 12. Magnesium. Okay. F. Uh, yes, I see there's magnesium there. 23, 12 magnesium plus a hydrogen is something plus a neutron. Uh, so we have 24, that means this one has to be 23. Here we have 13, and that's a zero, so this one has to be 13. And 13 is aluminium. Okay. G. Bromium, is it? Or bromide? 94 BE. Uh, plus an alpha becomes something plus a neutron. Uh, there's a 13 here, and there's a 1 here, so this has to be a 12. There's a 6 here and a 0, so this has to be a 6. And what is 6? Car oh, of course, yeah, this is carbon 12. Yeah, carbon 12. So, um, that is all of question 1 balanced here. Okay, do you need to write any of these down? You're okay? Have you got this? Yeah. Okay, so now on to number 2. Um, you have AC225 and there are three alpha decays. What are, you, uh, what are you left with after three alphas? So you have AC becomes something plus three alphas. What is that something? Okay, so I'll give you, I think, one minute to do this one. And you'll need your periodic table again.
Okay, I think that should be enough time for number two. So let's have a look at it. So we start off with 2289AC and it becomes something plus 3 alphas. What does it become? We'll just call it X. So here we have 89 and here we have 6 protons. So it means this one has to be 83. So it's balanced. Here we have 225 and here we have 12. So if I just do 225 minus 12, uh, that's 213 is what I must have here. So what has atomic number of 83? Yeah. BI. BI. Okay. So just double check. 225 equals 213 plus 3 times 4. And 89 should equal 83 plus 3 times 2. Yeah. Okay. So that's number 2 done. Alright. Now number 3 are just like the example I did earlier where you have to make a oh, where's it gone? Oh, here it is. A simultaneous equation. That's how you do question three. You need to work out how many alphas and betas there are. So it's plus so many alphas plus so many betas, how much of each? So these are four simultaneous equations. You can try them now, please.
four x. Uh, no, zero y. Uh, are we looking at the top line or the bottom line? Let's look at the top line. So you'd have 232 equals 208 plus 4x because the number on the top is a 4 in the helium. So it's x of those, so 4x. And then the number on the top of the beta is 0. So 0 was. Oh, it's 82. Yeah, 90 equals 82 minus what? Oh, sorry, sorry, my mistake, sorry. 90 equals 82 plus 2x minus y. Plus 2x minus y. Yeah. Why do I say x there? Because there's still the helium 4-2 there, so there's the 2 at the bottom. Do you know what I mean? Like, uh... Let's get, I'll get you started on it. What is it? 232? Two, two, yeah. And underneath? Uh, 90. 90. And the letter? Oh, uh, yeah, okay, yeah. It's uh, TH. Okay. And that becomes 208.82. Yeah, lead. Plus some amount of alpha particles. Plus some amount of beta particles. So you can form two equations. 232 equals 208 plus 4x plus 0y. 90 equals 82 plus 2x minus y. One y. Oh yes, sorry, Mr. Uh, how many have you done? No. Great, okay. Finished A part, no problem? Yeah. Do you want to do them all together or will I do the A part now and then you can try the B part? Yeah, okay. Let's see. Uh, Mishri, do you want to see the A part now or when you finish the four of them? Um, I'll do the A part now so you can check if you're doing it right. Okay, so the answer here for the A part, you can make the equation 232 equals 208 plus 4x plus 0y when you look at the top. So you've got when you take that to the left there, uh, what's that, 24 equals 4x, so x equals 6. Did you get that? Yeah. yeah. And then when you look at the bottom line, you get 90 equals 82 plus 2x minus y. 8 equals 2x minus y. 8 equals 12 minus y. So y equals 4. Did you get that? Yes? Okay, very good. Um, let's try the B one then.
Um, are we finished the B part? Oh, fantastic. Right, well, let's do the B part then. Uh, okay, so part B. The two equations we can make are 237 equals 209 plus 4x plus 0y and 93 equals 83 plus 2x minus y. So, what did you get for x, Ead? Huh? 7? Yes. 28 plus 9 is 37. Okay, so then if you plug that in there, you get 10 and uh, 4 for y? Yeah, okay, 4 for y. Alright, um, are you ready to see C? Did you do C? You're doing it now? Okay. Are you finished the C part? Let's have a look. So for the part C, we can make the following equation. 2, 3, 8 equals 206 plus 4x uh, plus 0y. And then we can say 92 equals 82 plus 2x minus y. So if I look here, uh, let me see. That would be 32, 8 is it for x? Yeah. And then 10, 6, 6 for y. Okay, one part left. Today's strike was uh, unannounced because usually when there are strikes, the company, the workers notify the company. That did not happen this morning. Hence the terrible traffic. 
Did you get into school okay, or were you affected badly? Did you get a bus in the end? Or did you get a taxi? You had to walk from the city centre? But you got from Luke into the city centre on bus? Yeah. And what time do you end the city centre at? And there was no, you couldn't see any buses to, so you walked? How long did that take? And you started walking when? Nine Okay, okay, not too bad. Uh, okay, let's have a look at D now. Do you have D finished? Yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, D. Two, three, five. equals 207 plus 4x plus 0y and 92 equals 82 plus 2x minus y. So if I look at this I get, oh my goodness, uh, 7 for x, is that right? And then y is 4, I got these two, yeah? Now, um, when I was talking to the principal earlier today, she said if I wanted to finish the class sooner because of the strike, I can. And as I was saying to Iyad, I think there's a chance that they may resume. I, I'm not 100% sure, it's just my feeling that there's a chance that they may resume for this evening to further disrupt people traveling home. So I can let you finish now and I recommend anybody who has to take the bus, you have to take the bus, and you have to take the bus, uh, I wouldn't delay taking the bus uh, in case that come five o'clock you will have no buses. So if you're going to go home I recommend doing it now rather than later just in case the strike continues. You have to go to the city centre and then get a bus there. And you have to go to the city centre and get a bus there. Okay, you two, you can go now. Uh, we'll finish there. Uh, hopefully this strike will be resolved by next week. But of course, if there's trouble uh, on Monday or Tuesday, you know, we, we can start, like, if there's a strike going on on Monday or Tuesday, we can start the class at, like, half nine or something. Because, uh, you know... I don't expect you to be on time when there's no buses, you know. And if it's really bad, we'll think of something else we can do. But uh, hopefully, hopefully this won't happen on Monday. But it's looking like the strike is getting very messy. And I don't know if it will end necessarily soon. Okay.